TDA abuse, tobacco, drugs and uh, alcohol abuse. Tobacco, drugs and alcohol abuse. Let's see one after another. First of all, let's take uh, tobacco and uh, how it affects the health of human being. Here some of the risks of uh, smoking. Smoking can damage every part of the body. Then uh, we classified it in the form of uh, cancers and chronic diseases here. Smoking can uh, cause the chronic diseases like uh, stroke, uh, stroke to the brain and uh, that uh, stroke to the brain and it causes the blindness in human being, uh, that uh, gum infection, erotic rupture, erotic rupture and uh, heart diseases, pneumonia and uh, hardening of the arteries. chronic lung disease and asthma, reduced fertility, hip fracture, these are all the chronic infection by continuous smoking for a long period of time may get affect uh, the may get affect the whole body that these are all the different kinds of effects here that uh, let's see the cancers, cancers may come to the head or uh, neck region, head or neck region, lung and leukemia, blood cancer can be expected, lung cancer, stomach cancer, Cancer to the kidney, pancreas and colon, bladder and cervix cancer. In the these kind of cancers can be uh, affected by the human being here. The reason is risk for long term smoking then can affect these kind of problems here in case of uh, human being. One of the other effect in case of uh, uh, smoking is uh, emphysema. Here this is the uh, lung uh, which is a normal lung here and uh, the healthy alveoli the healthy alveoli is going to be affected by the smoking continuous uh, harmful particles are trapped in alveoli the harmful particles whenever they are going to trapped here there you can see in the diagram inflammatory response is triggered inflammatory response is triggered in uh, alveoli and uh, inflammatory chemicals dissolve alveolar septum and uh, the large air cavity lined with the carbon deposits is formed here. So this kind of effect of alveoli can be seen uh, all over the lung in case of uh, human being in the continuous uh, the smoking process here in a person. And uh, what is the problem here? In case of uh, alveoli, whenever that particular alveoli the air enters inside after the gaseous exchange through the blood capillaries that air should go out that uh, less oxygenated air should go out to accommodate the fresh air to come in that actually the problem with these kind of lungs so they get affected with emphysema that air whatever entered inside the, the bad air the fresh air whatever enter, entered inside after the transport of uh, oxygen to the blood capillaries, this air will stay here. It doesn't allow the fresh air to come inside. It doesn't allow the fresh air to come inside. So, that uh, it affects the oxygenation of the blood. So, it uh, automatically affects other uh, healthy organs of the body here. Alcohol. Effect of alcohol. Let us see the effect of alcohol here. The different parts of the body is getting affected here. Let's start from the brain, nervous system. Nervous system, effect of alcohol. Peripheral neuritis, degeneration of the nervous system. That uh, supplying limbs. Pressure on portal circulation, risk of hemorrhage, increased incidence of cancer 40 times if, it is, uh, if the alcoholic is also a smoker. Gullet, corrosive effect, risk of cancer. Muscles, degeneration, weakness, pain, the effect of the heart, uh, the weak, uh, fatty heart, weakening of uh, heart muscles, that high blood pressure and uh, anemia is due to decreased absorption of vitamins. Stomach, the gastric uh, peptic ulcer, direct corrosive effect. Fingers, the pins and uh, Needles uh, that fingers are pins, needles uh, 
and intestines uh, inflammation corrosion from alcohol nervous system nervous system malfunctions uh, and uh, shakiness tremors uh, that get affected over when it comes to the bones bones uh, degeneration risk of uh, fractures will be increased over by the alcohol effect of alcohol is going to be almost all every part of the body then uh, uh, let's take the brain here the brain headaches uh, blackouts delusions paranoia the forgetfulness impaired judgment decline in uh, iq dementia then uh, epileptic uh, features here the vernix disease due to the vitamin deficiency hemorrhage peripheral neuritis uh, corsac of uh, psychosis and finally it leads to the death even here whereas uh, lungs a small amount of alcohol escapes unused by a breath uh, 2 to 4% and uh, liver fatty cells liver is a major organ which uh, get affected by the alcoholic people uh, that alcohol is a toxic material liver makes the detoxification process here that's why more alcoholic and uh, more effect on uh, liver fatty cells tissue scarring jaundice hepatitis irreversible cirrhosis the liver breaks down 90% of alcohol consumed here that makes uh, that overload to the liver here along with its normal functions as we know liver doing very uh, uh, various metabolic activities of the body that uh, alcoholic is given additional work to the uh, body that uh, liver and uh, kidneys effect on kidneys a small amount of alcohol escapes unused via urine is about 2 to 4 percent pancreas bad digestion malnutrition early diabetes sweat glands a small amount of alcohol escapes unused via sweat glands 2 to 6 percent and uh, the sex organs effect on sex organ depressed testicular uh, production and uh, impotency and breast uh, growth due to female hormones not broken down by liver the failure to ovulate spontaneous abortion in female these are all the effect of alcohol here alcoholic effects on almost all every internal organ is getting affected here but the major organ getting more damaged is going to be liver liver cirrhosis is one of the regular symptom in case of alcoholic people alcohol and tobacco it is uh, that alcohol and tobacco uh, use are growing uh, public health problems in developing countries many surveys ask respondents about frequency of alcohol and uh, tobacco use here the collective usage of the alcohol and uh, tobacco is doing uh, more damage in the youth uh, so here the getting awareness on this particular aspect here that alcohol and uh, usage of uh, alcohol and tobacco that affects uh, the every part of the body it may lead to the cancers and uh, the various internal organs are get uh, they get damaged over getting alcohol and tobacco is uh, became fashion nowadays here uh, but uh, but it is going to be more dangerous to the future of uh, youth so it is very important uh, to give awareness to the youth uh, here not to use this particular here for their bright future let's take a look on uh, drugs here tobacco alcohol along with that the more dangerous issue is going to be drugs that uh, let's get some knowledge of uh, various kinds of drugs here the bang bang is an uh, edible preparation of uh, cannabis cannabis sativa traditionally it has been used uh, in uh, food and drink for centuries it's a traditional aspect here actually then uh, bang in india and nepal is distributed during uh, some hindu festivals like holi janmashtami and shivaratri and consuming bang at such occasions is common it's uh, the extract of bang is from uh, plant cannabis here you can see here the shops uh, which are selling bung, bung here the process of making bung into a drink and uh, and here a bung shop in jaisalmer rajasthan women selling uh, cannabis and bung in guwahati assam india 
the side effects of uh, bhang it induces psychosis Drink, drinking too much bhang can lead to the grandiosity excitement hostility uncooperativeness disorientation and hallucinations it may make you feel good the good feeling is obviously due to the presence of cannabis and can take you into a trance and also temporarily relieve any kind of pain it increases the heart rate and alters the blood pressure even if there is no conclusive research that says the bhang can increase the heart rate and blood pressure various studies have proved that cannabis which is an integral part of bhang can increase heart rate and alter your blood pressure that bhang does not kill you bhang is not fatal even with the presence of cannabis according to studies there have been zero deaths due to cannabis overdose and but an overdose of bhang led to the death of 25 year old male who had already suffered from rheumatic heart disease the disease that had consumed around 300 ml of bhang and had died within 24 hours of consuming bhang some other drugs here opioids the modern definition of opioid uh, the molecule that interact with opioid receptor of the brain of human being opioid compound uh, opioid receptor agonist antagonist agonist and antagonist natural products synthetic and semi synthetic compounds peptides synthesized by neurons and uh, other cells uh, let's see some of the opioids here natural opium alkaloids are uh, morphine and uh, codeine semi synthetic opioids diacetyl morphine heroin and uh, folcodin synthetic opioids like pethidine merpiridine we, we use it to say that uh, fentanyl alfentanyl safentanyl remifentanyl methadone dextropropoxyphen and uh, tramadol there are all the various kinds of opioids here morphine let's see morphine here uh, one of the opioid morphine effect of morphine that central nervous system is getting affected here like uh, analgesia pain consists of both sensory and uh, affective uh, emotional components here opioids are analgesics reduce both aspects of pain experience especially affective aspect in contrast non steroidal anti inflammatory analgesic drugs have no significant effect on the emotional aspects of pain euphoria intravenous drug users experience a pleasant floating sensation with uh, pleasant anxiety and distress however dysphoria an unpleasant state characterized by restlessness and malaise may sometimes occurs due to the usage of morphine and uh, one more opioid here uh, heroin heroin uh, is a highly addictive and uh, illegal drug it is a depressant drug the resin of poppy plants are used to make heroin opium is removed from the parts of the poppy plant then refined to make morphine and then refined again to make uh, heroin heroin originated back in 1874 where it was synthesized from morphine by an english chemist a couple of years later heroin began to be commercially produced by the bayer bayer pharmaceutical company a german chemical company in 1898 how is it used heroin is usually injected into the body but it can be also be snorted or smoked when injected heroin quickly reaches the brain heroin is a level of level 5 drug which puts it in the narcotic analgesic group street names of heroin include big h helders nose drops thunder brown sugar horse and skag be wary of these uh, names on the streets ingredients the two major chemicals uh, uh, found in uh, heroin two major chemicals found in heroin are morphine and uh, acetic anhydride other chemicals found in heroin include anesthetics and uh, stimulants some of these chemicals include cocaine and caffeine acetic anhydride along with the morphine can form uh, heroin that was, that's why we used to say acetylation of the morphine is uh, heroin morphine is a direct product and acetylation of morphine leads to the heroin the effects of use heroin slows down the central nervous system 
when it depress nerve transmission in the brain and spinal cord heroin can reach the brain in just 6 to 8 seconds when injected this will disturb the cardiovascular system and uh, the respiratory system has a serious control breathing and heart rate because of this the brain won't receive enough oxygen or blood and brain damage it can result damage to the brain will cause it uh, not to be able to send messages through the cns disrupting the nervous system and then the brain won't be able to control major organs affecting the digestive system and other system this can lead to death even the physical consequences of heroin heroin can have a devastating effect on the body harmful physical effects include uh, diseases like uh, tuberculosis and uh, arthritis other problems like constipation itching coma introversion and insomnia can also result from heroin use aids and other contagious diseases can be spread if uh, heroin users share needles uh, since heroin is uh, usually injected this can be quite common Yes, uh, along with the opioids, as we said, the opioids like morphine and heroin, which are the major one, affecting the opioid receptors. And now let's move to the cannabinoids here. The cannabinoids. There are three types of cannabinoids. Herbal occur naturally in the cannabis plant. That uh, example, THC. Synthetic cannabinoids produced artificially, called as spice. Natural also occur naturally in humans and uh, animals. cannabis which is in with various names weed marijuana thc pot uh, this is a uh, the male and uh, female flowers of cannabis uh, taiva what is thc tetra hydro cannabinol thc is a tetra hydro cannabinol the based on the thc itself uh, we are going to classify the various products of uh, uh, cannabis uh, short term effects of uh, thc could last 1 to 24 hours it increase uh, appetite increase uh, pleasure impaired thinking and memory dry mouth impaired coordination eye redness paranoia increased heart rate are the different effects of thc here what is thc the tetra hydro cannabinol tetra hydro cannabinol in brief called uh, thc now let's take the different uh, the products of uh, cannabinoids here uh, the one of them is marijuana what is marijuana marijuana refers to the dried leaves uh, flowers stems and uh, seeds from the hemp plant cannabis sativa the plant contain uh, the mind altering chemical delta 9 tetra hydro cannabinol we called uh, in brief uh, it as uh, thc we said it as thc and other released compounds uh, extracts with high amounts of thc can also be made from the cannabis plant the plant contains about 60 chemical compounds with uh, psychoactive effects able to impair uh, neuronal functions named cannabinoids the main compound is thc delta 9 tetra hydro cannabinol in general called uh, tetra hydro cannabinol which induces the greatest part of the effects common hemp also contain cannabinoids but in the doses with no practical effect marijuana is a mixture made of flowers leaves and small stems of uh, cannabis sativa the hashish is a paste made of the resinous secretions which store uh, in the female flowers so only the female individuals can deliver hashish of an intense coffee color the resin contains uh, much higher levels of thc thus the hashish is more powerful than uh, marijuana containing 40% thc compared to 10% in marijuana ganja is a female plant the flower of uh, it produces resins very high in thc the flower bud and all of flowering part is consumed as ganja or weed or marijuana the resin is collected from flowering plants and made cheras or hash cheras is further refined as a dhoor 
very much famous in afghanistan hash oil is also sometimes extracted from hash called hash oil ganja hash is generally smoked and can be blended with uh, lipids food and served as snack THC level is a active component as we came to know now dur has highest level of THC cherus has little less THC and ganja flower has lowest THC level in india malana cream is the best cherus kerala gold is the best ganja dur is not available here in india next uh, the coca alkaloids let's take a look on coca alkaloids here Uh, as are completed opioids and cannabinoids the third category here coca alkaloids which uh, erythroxylum coca the plant erythroxylum coca in this case also the indians add uh, lime to the leaves before chewing them the leaf form of coca never became uh, popular abroad in 1860 cocaine was isolated and became popular it became used as a local anesthetic an extract of coca leaves became used in coca cola later the fda made uh, the company remove coca alkaloids from the extract here as a drug of abuse cocaine may be sniffed or smoked or injected cocaine blocks reabsorption of norepinephrine in the brain that uh, this makes the user feel invigorated and blocks the feelings of fatigue hunger and uh, a kind of a situation we say euphoria that uh, euphoria a, a situation called euphoria get affected over atropa belladonna the other uh, drugs here the atropa belladonna deadly night shade we say for many the star of the poison plants most people have heard of deadly night shade even if they have never seen it the combination of its ability to kill with its use to beautify by dilating the pupils gives it a romantic attraction which is hard to beat add to that the hallucinations it may also cause and its fascination is complete if this is atropa belladonna and these are the flowers of atropa and the seeds of atropa belladonna which is very dangerous here that how poisonous how harmful that contain tropane alkaloids notably hyoscine also called uh, scopolamine uh, hyoscyamine and atropine at least five other toxic compounds have been uh, isolated here next uh, let's take a look on barbiturates here an old class of drugs used to relax the body and help people sleep sleeping pills we used to say these drugs are first developed in the late 19th century Barbiturate abuse then became popular in the 1960s and 1970s. Use and abuse have declined greatly in recent years. However, this decline was mainly due to the development of uh, newer or safer drug alternatives. Barbiturates are both psychological and physical addictive. The risk of a fatal overdose is higher with barbiturates than other drugs as the difference between a safe dose and a deadly one is small a class of drugs known as benzodiazepine has largely replaced barbiturates for both medical and recreational use benzodiazepines have less severe side effects and are not as likely to result in accidental overdose as barbiturates it's a benzodiazepine is uh, uh, some of the examples for this valium and uh, etivan these are considered as tranquilizers in general LSD what is LSD LSD is a semi synthetic uh, drug meaning it combines with a natural occurring and man made substances it is derived from ergot a fungus that grows on sudden grains and a non organic chemical called diethyl amide lysergic acid diethyl amide is an illegal drug whose primary effect is to alter the senses and cause hallucination formulated in 1938 as a treatment for respiratory depression swiss chemist albert hoffman in uh, advertently discovered lsd's unique properties when uh, he accidentally absorbed uh, some on his skin 
an estimated 1.3 million persons aged 12 or older in 2013 have used uh, hallucinogens. The present day dose of LSD is uh, only a fraction of what it was in the 1960s. LSD blurs the line between perception and imagination. The Central Intelligence Agency led Vijare experiments on LSD to evaluate its potential for mind control. Use may trigger the onset of schizophrenia in those uh, predisposed to the illness. The average users are educated while white males ages 18 uh, 22. Using and are selling LSD is a felony crime. Craving and addiction do not develop with its uh, use. The hallucinogenic effect can last up to 12 hours. Then often referred to as uh, figments of the imagination. These perceptions can involve all or only one of the five senses. LSD primarily causes uh, visual hallucinations such as uh, distorted colors and shapes. It can also cause blending of the senses known as uh, synesthesia which is hearing colors or seeing sounds. Using LSD is called tripping and users can get a good heaven or bad uh, hell trip. Whatever the drug, like uh, tobacco, alcohol, drugs or uh, drugs like opioid, cannabinoid, coca alkaloids, they all leads to the addiction. That uh, addiction is uh, going to be the very dangerous issue here in the growing uh, adolescent age. It affects uh, the personality, emotions and human behavior. Basically, limbic system of the brain controls uh, this kind of behavior instinctive behavior, emotions and motivation that uh, the usage of these particular substances in adolescent age is going to be affect uh, the psychologically, like uh, physiologically, social effect, uh, the community effect, like uh, human uh, behavioral effect that all will get uh, by the adolescent age and that may affect the future of the children. So that one must should aware on this particular aspect here not to use this kind of drugs, not to, uh, curiosity not to lead towards the addiction. So how curiosity leads to the addiction, let's see here. Let's see here the addiction cycle. It may start like a ritual, that uh, a ritual and uh, that uh, after that they may use over and by guilt or uh, friend circle they may, then emotional trigger makes the person to use and finally that leads to the carving, uh, that, car that carving uh, is leads to addiction. Here, here it is uh, the craving, uh, what we said here, the emotional trigger leads to craving, that uh, craving finally may lead to the addiction. Let's see the addiction monitor here, that uh, first of all, uh, the, they may like it and uh, they may want it. Over a period of time, they feel so that is uh, we need it and uh, finally they crave it and uh, that leads to addiction. Addiction. Addiction may create a lot of problems here in the adolescent age here. The age uh, where the curiosity is going to be the biggest task through the particular people. That if the right path, if it is, uh, that may lead to the bright future but... Uh, Usage of uh, the tobacco, drugs and alcohol in the growing age by curiosity and as we are seeing here uh, by curiosity that uh, by peer group friend circle they may use for first time, uh, they may like it, then they want it, they need it and finally it leads to the, cra the craving of that particular uh, aspect here. So finally that uh, addiction, it leads to Addiction leads to that uh, physical, the bodily healthy issues we have seen already and psychological, that uh, the addiction uh, psychological process and social, that people can't move socially. So the various kinds of effects are there here. So one, uh, we should give awareness to the people in the adolescent age group that not to uh, reach this particular path here. Thank you.